Hi, it's me, Keith Lemon. I'm staying at this little cottage. From the outside, it looks a bit like a miniature big breakfast house, if you can remember the big breakfast house. See what I'm saying? Shun, nun, 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 nun. Dun, dun, dun. It's, it's, it's a bit like Big Breakfast. Anyway, why am I here, you're asking yourself, or you might not be asking yourself. I'm here because I'm filming a television show called The Real Dirty Dancing, where we get 10 celebrities, we face them with challenges of acting uh, and dancing to find our ultimate baby and Johnny. It's not just about dancing, it's about the chemistry be between the, the pairing who are going to be coupled up. And it's a, it's a lot of fun. I've done one day on it so far, but I just wanted to document the making of this program. So yesterday was the first day okay, on set here. Okay, fab. The lake there. Um, oh, here's all the people. Here's, there's a hut, there's some leaves. Gonna be a fun time. I'm filming it with Ashley Roberts from Art Radio and also from the Pussycat Dolls and, and, and from various things. You know, she's one of my mates. You've probably seen me do videos with her on my Instagram account where we just stare at the camera. We'll be doing a lot of that throughout this. I'll, I'll put all those up. We just stare at the camera. Why? Because I've, I've noticed on Instagram sometimes, if you don't do anything, you get more views. Why do you want more views so people watch your programme? I guess that's it, really. So you people look at it and go, I'll, I'll check that out. So anyway, this is what happened yesterday. And today on The Real Dirty Dancing, we're at the um, gazebo at Kellerman's. We can see we've got some of our celebrities. Uh, oh, there's Arj. And, 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 uh, Hello, mate. There's Chelsea and Lee there. Are you, are you excited about Lee? <laughs> yeah, love it. Yeah. Nervous a bit? Uh, a little bit. A little bit nervous. A bit, yeah. I'm, what about you, Chelsea? I'm very, very excited. You're very, very excited. Very, very, very excited. Do you feel confident that one of these strong men can pick you up? Yeah, he'll throw me a I could pick her up all day long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's full of jokes. He can pick her up all day long. <laughs> Look at the size of that! I could live in it! <laughs> oh, it's hot. Just gonna get into my car now, I think I'll head home. I'm joking, I'd ride a BMX. I'm just at the staff quarters. Ooh. Ashley's just doing some content look. You see she's doing content there. Um, it's the it's the watermelon dance. At the end of it she will lay a walk. Well, she's laid it already. Do you love me? That explains it. Do you <laughs> so today I'm dressed as Stan from Dirty Dancing, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna be just shouting out banal things that are happening at Kellerman's that are actually happening. Apart from one thing that is happening, remember in the film when they were just at the gazebo trying on wigs? Just trying on wigs. Hey, does any ladies want to come down to the gazebo and try on wigs? There he is. There he is. He's, he's lost his way. He's thinking, we well, should I go in? Can I cross that gated? Can I cross that gated area there? I don't know what to do. What would I do? I'll walk along, I'll get a bit closer to it. There it is. Can I, can I climb over this? Can I, where am I going to go? I'll go in this little place there. There we go. Did you get close to our faces?
tonight is the night, it's the first night that our contestants, forward slash now friends, celebrities, are performing for the first time as Johnny and we will choose who Johnny is going to be tonight and that person will be patterned up with the person we choose as our favourite baby tomorrow if that makes any sense. Lee Ryan there is talking to Ashley. I said I don't want to talk to him, I just want him to use conversation, when he's um, conversing with me just sing, sing the words, say I keep how's it going? There's Chelsea Healy there. Um, the girls have got it easy today. We've got Bobby Siegel. He's practicing his moves there. I think, oh, I've just stood in somewhat moist. Hi, it's the third day. I say that again. Hi, it's the third day of working on the real dirty dancing. Today we're filming with the boys doing an acting challenge. Whilst the girls are rehearsing their first baby performance, which they will do tonight, and then we will choose our favourite baby who will be paired up with our favourite Johnny. Enjoy your pants, whatever you're doing today, whilst I'm doing what I'm doing. Oh, good morning. Oh, we have so much fun on set with pranks. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on the exact set that they didn't use in the film. This is a replica, and this is the scene where baby first lays eyes on Johnny, um, and we're gonna find out if the guys have got that Swayze swagger to pick up the chicks, y'all! But well, there's a massive class at 9 till 10. So what we've just done is paired everybody up with their babies and johnnies. Uh, it's really exciting. Tomorrow they're, they're dancing to Hungry Eyes. And have they got Hungry Eyes or have they got Stinky Thighs? That's it. Hi, it looks like I'm just in a garden and I'm about to have lunch, like I'm having my lunch break on the show, The Real Dirty Dancing, but that's exactly what I'm doing. The rest of the guys are over there. They're gonna be rehearsing all day. Um, I've done my links um, this morning and then later on in my difficult schedule, I have to go on a date with Ashley Roberts. That'll be terrible. Mm. It's raining, so we're not filming anymore. It's raining, man. Um, the nature has decided everything, and then Ashley got on it. My margarita's got raindrops in it. I like it. It's raining a bit. Rainbows. We're going indoors. We're gonna go indoors now. That's what we're gonna do. My name is Johnny from Dirty Dancing. This is my sister Moira. So today, our couples are being paired up. They are paired up. They're going to be doing their first dance, which is Hungry Eyes. We're doing it in this place here. I don't know what it's supposed to re represent. I don't know what part of the film it is. Hungry Eyes, is that when they're on the floor? Yeah. Is it? I think it's when she's crawling along the floor. So I expect there's some element of crawling involved. There's Ashley having a hair sprayed on. She has all her hair sprayed on. So let's see if I can go inside. Oh, there's those obligatory French blinds, I think they're called. Oh yeah, I remember what scene it is. So it's this. Hungry thighs. And uh, it's kind of there. Hungry thighs. <laughs> just, right, give me, just tell me a really long equation. Um, really basic one. Y equals MX plus C equation uh, for a straight life and work at the gradient in which you need to move along. See what I mean? You see what I mean? Just having a debriefing, as you can see, I'm not listening because I'm busy filming this for you guys. Always just practicing, always just practicing. Crew, always masks on, good playing safe, going through things. I'll just say what I can remember as always. There's Arj there, slightly concerned. Verona there, 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 Verona there. It's really exciting. I, I look forward to you to watch it, if that makes sense. Ooh, got right itchy back. Oh, that's lovely, oh, testicles in there, lovely, right? I'll have to see our lass. I don't know what day it is on The Real Dirty Dancing, but it's a terrible location. Look at this. I absolutely hate it here. I know in the song it says, you know, I'm having time of my life, but I'm not having time of my life. I am. So tonight I'm giving our celebrities a masterclass in thrusting. Here they are, lad. I'm going to teach them how to thrust. Oh, wow. She don't need no teaching. 
Well, that's what I was gonna do, but um, got my dress. Nine, ten. So these are ten women you want to date, and you're thinking, um, which one do I go for? So you know, you date them in a sequential order. Right. Do I stop at number one and ask her to be my girlfriend? Or do I stop at number four, number seven? How do you know? So you could meet date one and go, oh, she's amazing. But then, what if someone else further down the line is more amazing? Well, it could be the same with date seven. And in mathematics, there's something called optimal stopping theory. And what it says is, roughly, if you've got, let's say, a pool of 10 people that you're willing to date, you need to date the first three, 30%, no matter how good they are, discard them. And the next person that's better than all the previous ones, that's the girl that you've got to go for. And mathematically, if everyone did that, we'd all have our optimal partners. That's optimal stopping theory. And it genuinely works when we go shopping for houses, um, cars, shoes, we me sort of mentally do that. So if you're out there, imagine you're looking for houses and you're thinking, I want to buy a house by the, in the next three months. Yeah. What you'll do is the first month, the third, you'll be scouting and you're not really going to like put an offer. But after the first month, the one third, then after that mentally you're thinking, ah, the next house is better than all the previous ones, you will go and put an offer. So that rule of one third, optimal stopping thing, actually, if all of us applied it all the time, we'd be in an optimally happy world. Not going to be perfect because you might miss out bird number one or guy number one might be the perfect one. But if all of us did that, all of us would find our optimal partner. And all I asked was, have you got a girlfriend? <laughs> so today's a busy day for me. I've got to write all the links for the show and um, learn them whilst the rest of the team do this. This is the rest of the team. It's just, just can't get the staff these days. <laughs> There's Arj learning his dance routines. <laughs> oh, it's such a hard graph here, isn't it? So I've just got to write the last few links and then I'm done. Nobody's doing any but any work. No one's doing any work. Get off the page! But what we gonna do? Ha, what we gonna do? What we gonna do won't be no bum. We're gonna rock like this straight through the summer as we call break ill with the drummer. Hit me! So this is some drone footage that the cameraman showed me that we're using in the show. I filmed this off the computer screen. Just wanted to show you it. Isn't it lovely? So today um, I've had four lines or five lines of dialogue and um, we've asked the Roberts from the Pussy Cat Dolls. Easy. Um, Jordan's here. What have you been doing today? Um, nothing. No, you have. Come no, on. Lots, no lots. silly jibs. He's been teaching the mambo. I've been teaching the mambo. Been teaching, teaching the mambo. Is that a difficult day. one to teach them? It is a very difficult one Complex. to teach them. This is going to be the hardest one. Is it? Yeah, definitely. What, of the whole show? Not of the whole show, but everything we've done so far is going to be. Very Can you difficult. give us an exclusive and say, who's got killing it the most? No. We can, because by the time it's got. Oh, no, actually, don't, no. actually, because well, when, I, when I put this out, it will be the who, time the show's yeah. going out. Who killed the mambo? Myself and Ashley. Really you were so in the zone, do you go into character? Was, I was really concentrated on on the movement because I hadn't danced in a couple of years like that. So She's good, isn't she? she? Amazing. You were like you're in a zone. Uh, very, very you, penny. You could have smacked her in the face with a dead fish. She, she would still be dancing. <laughs> so far. <Keep> okay. <laughs> Some flowers. Billy no mates. Just having a stroll here in the woods next to the river. Lake, mate, it's a lake. 
the lake. Got a bit of time off whilst filming. Got no friends. Can be can be very lonely sometimes being Keith Lemon. But most of the time it's a lot of fun. Fly with the meal. Ain't nobody around but me, the nature, a couple of benches and a lake. And the sun reflecting it's, it's a lovely place. It's very romantic if you live somewhere, but I'm totally by myself. But I'm having a great time. Um got one more week left of filming. It's good fun. Who, who couldn't have a fun time here? Look, just look. You can't see anything, can you? Can you see anything? Lake, lakeage, um, wilderness. Flying up my nose and in my ears now and again. My ceiling in the cottage is often infested with flies and whatever else. I must remember to keep the windows shut. The corridor. We're just being briefed. Giving us words. We learn them then we stick them somewhere secret. In their chairs, in their couples, a the other day. Um, dancing in crocs. She's dancing in crocs. Yeah. Dancing in crocs. <laughs> so this is just before all these celebrities come in. They've had one day to practice their mambo. This is Jordan who taught them the mambo. Um, well, this is Ashley and Jordan who did the performance. I, don't, I think I've showed a clip of that already. Really good dancers. <laughs> And did right well. And I <laughs> look right like well. a jellyfish with my tongue. Ashley looks like a jellyfish <laughs> with an incredible face. And um, when she dances, she goes deep, deep into character. I hate those people that stay in character all the time. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. I'm in the best yeah. condition I've been for you. <laughs> the best condition I've been in years. <laughs> um, the weather's given up today. We've got a bit of spittle. Just getting wild track. Guys, can you just come behind the seat? To the photo? Still running. And go for it. That's okay, baby. I'm in slumming too. It's okay, baby. I'm in slumming too. Bang on. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice. So we just recreated a scene from Dirty Dancing where Patrick, aka Johnny Castle, Wallops, um, Bobby the Sleaze, they all did really well. Someone did weller than others. <laughs> ah, what happened? I uh, uh, unfortunately chinned our... Uh, he had contact, so a physical contact, wasn't there? It was a bit of a stiff jab. Yeah. Because you, you were trying so hard, weren't you, to make it I look real? I was trying so hard. Yeah, yeah. Tried so hard. Bobby, how was yours? Not mathematically enough. It wasn't, but we've got to do a photo shoot now anyway. Good luck with your business. Hold it on for a bit. I just go, just go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. There's a birthday card from everyone. Oh, and here's some vouchers for a spa where you can rub your skin and do all that shit that you get normally done when you're not here with us dancing around. <laughs> birthday times, birthday times. <laughs> Um, we're at Kellerman's, well our version of Kellerman's, you can see they're doing volleyball over there. Ashley's there, I think she's doing what I'm doing, recording all this. See you in stores! She's going through her lines, we, we have lines on cards. Today we're going to approach them and tell them it's nearly the semi-final. The people that perform their best baby and Johnny will get to perform in the final in front of a, a not a studio audience, in front of a live audience of Dirty Dancing fans. 
to the song Time of My Life. Scary times, Chris. This is when you have to do the all important lift. Myself and Patrick McGuinness have done that lift. There's us there doing the lift. Uh, we found it quite easy, I think, as I recall. It's the first thing we did. If you can't do this lift, you can't do this dance, everyone is waiting for the lift. So we're going to tell them that information um, today whilst they're busy playing volleyball. Then they're going to take to the water, and as they did in the film, and try and do the lift. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the We're just watching them perfect the lift, laying down on the floor. It looks like Arjun and Amphia got it straight away, apparently. Yeah, Anthea had really nice lines. Ooh, Chelsea. Ooh, Chelsea's doing it. has got it. You gotta, you gotta squeeze your bum cheeks sometimes. Is, is that the tippage you're giving them? Yeah, because it just helps hold it all together. I just think you get up there and wish. Oh, look at Marley. Oh, good, good. Remember in um, Dirty Dancing when they go out in the lake and they do the lift in the lake? <laughs> A great sport, so I'm telling you, a great sport. Oh, that is. That's not, that's not too hard. Ian is going to demonstrate it. Yeah, I'll get in now. There's water shoes, like boots for the boys. Um, so we'll have those go on. Girls, it's totally up to you. I was in and bare feet, so oh, it's... No, you can wear the shoes, <laughs> so you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of algae. It's a lake. So there's a little bit though. Is it good for your skin? Because I need creme de la mer, and that's happening. <laughs> 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 Am I going straight in? Straight yeah. in, Tom. Come on, Tom. Keep the gold chain on there. I'll watch it. Everyone know you're real. Let's hear it. Let them know. Go on, Tom. 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 Am I going straight in? Because she's freezing. Yeah, come on. Am I going straight, straight in because Saffron's freezing? She's freezing. So this is what's going to happen now. They're going to write down the names of their perfect Johnny. If they match up, and it's the same, same snap, snap. We found it. We found the couple. Um, it seems to us, if they don't write the same name, we don't have the same, same snap, snap. They'll we'll write down another name until we have a same, same snap, snap. Here they are, all awaiting the outcome. Today, we're doing the bit on the log. You can see for safety reasons we've got this in the actual film patrick swayze fell off and, and destroyed his coccyx but it healed thanks to his magical powers that he didn't tell anyone about he's got magical healing powers he didn't pull that in the film did they we've got anthea up here anthea turner from dreams we've got bobby siegel best name in show business and um bobby only has three toes well four toes on one foot so he might find this more difficult so it's a it's a balancing exercise but it's not a, it's not a challenge he's not being judged there he is getting ready he's got the physique of a gymnast and the toes of a turtle five there but yep teenage mutant ninja turtles here's in a half shell turtle power <laughs> He's got good balance. Oh, good vestibular system in the ears. Three inner looped canals, which um, they tilt with our sensory cells. So that's what I've got compensated with strong vestibular system. I was going to say that. He just said it better than me. Ladies. Ashley ladybug. just got goosebumps because there was a, a ladybird and they give her goosebumps and it's good luck apparently. But let me tell you something really interesting. This log fooled me for a long time. It's not real. In this scene, we're getting the celebrities to go up there and do a tandem jump this will hopefully grow their trust in each other and overcome the fear of the actual lift in the actual film that they do at the actual end of it uh, when they're dancing to the actual song time of my life that's the purpose of this scene it's not just shoved in the program for a bit of fun and frolics this is to bring them closer together over there, you can see some of this. You can hear Arch laughing. All he does is laugh. The other day, I showed him a pebble. Look at that pebble, and he laughed. He laughed because he's all about fun, just like me. Oh, this, this, it's coming down there. I'm going to get in there with Ashley from the Pussy Cat Dolls, and she's learning her lines. I think she has to say, "How are you feeling?" How are you feeling? So it's, it's, uh, it takes a long time to learn those lines, uh, but we're going to have a good time. All best.
Today I woke up, I'm a bit tired, I woke up at six o'clock. Six o'clock for no reason at all. I guess I was just excited about the day because I knew in my mind I'm gonna be in one of these today. I didn't really know, I just got told when I got here. Um, I've learnt my words that are on these cards. These cards will now go up my crevasse and be embedded into my DNA so I can say I'm out of my mouth. Um, today is day 100 and billion, don't know what day it is. I think it's Friday. It is Friday. Um, we're going to go into the staff quarters and tell them one more time that they will be performing in front of an audience of dirty dancing fans if they do indeed get into the final. That'll be the two couples. And then they'll win. What do they win? They win a trophy. They win the ilk of winning is what they win. We're now sat inside this car and we're going to do some ablibbling. Ab living. Ab living. She's got a mask on, she's two meters away from me. We're playing surf, it's the semi-final of the real dirty dancing. We're looking for two couples that really project the spirit of Johnny and Baby. It's not a dancing competition, is it? No, it's about chemistry, acting, passion. Just the, the best baby and Johnny they can be. And they've all been rehearsing all day, there they are. There's a little bit of nerves, it feels really serious. It hasn't been this serious for the past two weeks. But they've all been so we found our two couples uh, that are going through to the final. I can't tell you who they are, he just kisses me all the time anyway. I can't tell you who they are, uh, but it was emotional. It's going to be an exciting time tomorrow to see if they can do the lift. DD for life! DD for life! Good evening. Today we're filming on a boat and um, I guess all the chat today is about the final, which is tomorrow. <clears throat> and the people that got in the final are, I don't know if I'm supposed to say, so I won't say. This is where we have lunch and meet up and stuff. Uh, it's a lovely place. We're not actually in America, we're in Norfolk. Are you jet skiing here? Um, no, we don't allow it, but yeah. the owner's got a... Uh... Let me tell you what's happened if you don't know what's happened. What's happened is the drone that was filming us um, above the lake has gone into that tree and fallen into the lake, which is a bit of a downer. But that nice lady there is going in to find it. Drama this am. <laughs> we got it. Yes! I'll tell you what's happened now. The batteries run out on the boat. So we just I don't know what's going on. Ashley's got legs growing outside of her. We're just stuck. But uh, there's a lovely the lovely lady that saved the drone is now pulling us in. Even though there's loads of like strong strapping guys around, it's too letting this lady do it. Oh my gosh, she's come to save us. You're a superwoman. <laughs> all these men hanging around, and she's handling handle it all. It's untangled. Coming to the end of this series, the gazebo that I thought was real was actually fake and put here. I thought, what an amazing location. We found the perfect Kellermans, complete with gazebo. 
it was built. It's all fake. Fake bricks. Fake. The TV is a lie. It's, it's all a lie. It's all coming to an end. And the time of my life. <laughs> this is where Arge once dropped his watermelon. You can see it's all dying and evaporating. Looks a bit like a demigorgon from Stranger Things. Hello. <laughs> um, so this is it, this is the final. We've just done a run through. It's really hot in here. I've got sweaty pits. All the slits on my body are sweating. Just done a run through. Uh, as you can see, it looks just like the actual Kellermans. It's not the actual Kellermans, but it looks like the actual Kellermans. And how you achieve the actual look of the Kellermans is simple. These bricks, synonymous, synonymous of, of um, the decor in Kellermans. This fake brickery. But it really does look like Kellermans, doesn't it? Join hands and eyes and teeth, teeth and eyes and thighs, eyebrows and fingers and slits on your body. Join us in the Kellermans, talent and dance and fun, snoggery and stuff and dancing and crying. Everyone went something like that, didn't it? Looks amazing, doesn't it? Disco Barbie. <laughs> and there's normal Barbie. <laughs> and that's Heather. Heather is responsible for making me look suave most of the times and also looking special depending on what character I am playing. She's pretending not to hear me. It doesn't matter. And there's Nadia, whose name is Nadine. But everyone calls her Nad. That's Arch with his swayzy hair. Look at that. Get Damn! It. Yeah! Well, stand back and kiss myself! Ow! Well, that's it. Here I am in my dressing room. We've wrapped the real dirty dancing on E4. I think it's in January. So check it out. I'll see you for a week. I'll see you through a window. Good luck with business.